This is my own programmable over voltage and under voltage protection system and in this video I'm going to show you how it works. First, I have to key in my two preset points which are my under voltage point and my over voltage points respectively. I have 145 volts as my under voltage preset point and I also have 210 volts as my over voltage preset point. Just as I save the values, the system triggers an alarm as the voltage on my wall outlet is currently 215 volts, which from my preset simply means that I'm running on an over voltage power supply. Come to think of it, what will happen if I set the over voltage above the incoming voltage from my wall socket? That's definitely you will find out as I will present to you how I assemble this project and the lines of code which I program to carry out these special attacks. Previously, I assembled the same project using discrete electronics components. I have the preset points which are under voltage and over voltage set using a zener diode just as I presented on the schematic diagram. These trigger points are fixed on the circuit and can't be changed again and to some people this particular design might seem very cool for them. One of the limitations of this particular circuit is that this design can work for some electronic gadgets that have their working preset point within the range of this design. And to some electronic gadgets that falls above or below this fixed point, this circuit or this design is not compatible for them and as such, this is a great problem to solve. In this new design which I assembled as it was proposed to us by Cedronics, our target is to rebuild this project and make it available for variable trigger point which one can easily do by himself. Having that in mind, I jumped into the project as I assembled the components for this build. This is the schematic diagram and I'm going to be sharing the code and also explaining it further after I complete this assembly. Cutting at the board size that I will need, I started assembling the discrete components as I have them well soldered. Next, I solder the capacitor and the diode onto the board. The relay was fitted in position as I completed the rest of the soldering. The board now taken its shape, I cut out the SSCs which I'm not going to be using for this project. The button, the LCD, the LED, we are all soldered in place as I complete the soldering process for this project. Now, let's take a look at the code for this project. Okay, so this is the code for this project and I'm going to be explaining all of them as the line of code for this project is not that much. I guess um, that's over 300 line of code. So let's get down into this particular code and then explain all in details for you to understand exactly what I just did for this project. So kicking off the first part of the project, I started off by initializing um, the libraries that I'm going to be using for this project, which include the Liquid Crystal Library and the EEPROM Library. So the EEPROM Library will be holding the information for the um, preset point, which will be my under voltage and my over voltage. Over here, I declared the variables that I'm going to be using. We have the buzzer relay, LED, green LED button, and all of them well assigned to a particular pin on the Arduino board. And this is the pinout for my voltage measurement using a transformer just as I have on the circuit. Now, these are the variables I use for reading my AC signal. And I've explained more, you're going to see um, the notification point on this particular video screen in order for you to see uh, my previous video which I explained how I got my reading using a transformer. Alright, so these are other variables which I use and boolean also for settings. And having done that, let's get back um, to the setup of this project. So this is what I have on the setup part of this project. So all I did basically is to initialize the system or um, just as I have the lucd.begin for um, displaying the information on lucd and same to visualize the information while I was assembling or testing this project on a serial monitor. And then I declared um, the pinout. These are for input while these are for the output. And initially I set every of those points to low, both the buzzer relays and everything low. 
okay on the loop function this is the basic mathematics i did just to get my uh, voltage point and as i said more details about it just on this video tag you are seeing on the screen and um okay over here so what i did next is to um create an um a first um logic which is everything still remaining low until which is the first if statement so whenever this button is pushed it should run the code for you to set the under voltage and the over voltage so let's just skip uh, further and then check the under voltage and over voltage part of the code all right so this is what i have void over voltage so this is um the code this is just the code to set the over voltage just as i have here so this is all the whole code just to set the over voltage and what i did here is to have 255 to be the maximum over voltage point for this project you can always change that if you really want to make further allowance so this is it for me so you just change this point for your own part of the project then for the under voltage point i use 140 okay 150 yes so i use 150 for my under voltage so this is it void under voltage and this is it so whenever the voltage for under voltage goes above or equals to 150 it will restart again it will turn to zero and then you keep adding again so 150 is my maximum for under voltage and you can always make the adjustment properly at this point if you feel to change or the need to change it so that's basically all you need to know about the void over voltage and void under voltage and then coming back um, to the loop function which ended at this point so that's the loop function it's ended at this point so what i have here look at the uh, second um the first if statement so if ac voltage that is the high voltage is above uh is less than or equals to e prom read which is um the address to read um the set values for the over voltage this should happen on, okay this is for under voltage if i'm correct yes under voltage so the lcd should indicate that this is um the values under voltage it should trigger off the relay uh, it should trigger off the relay um, at this point relay low the red led will indicate to you that there is um a point that is being um, reached which is either on the or over voltage the green led will off and then have this buzzer tune um okay have this buzzer tune on just to tell you okay this is what's going on but wherever a situation whereby this particular logic this particular logic is not met so this is what's going to happen that is by the s statement so the relay will always be high the led red will be low and the green led will be high then let's go to the next if statement so whenever um the ac voltage that is the ac socket the ac input from uh, my wall outlet is equals to or greater than e prom read one which is for over voltage so e prom read zero is for under voltage and e prom read one is for um, over voltage over voltage one under voltage zero so whenever this particular logic is met whenever the ac voltage coming from my wall socket is above or, or equals to e prom read one this should happen so i will print on my lcd high voltage just the same um, um logic relay low red led high green led low buzzer trigger this alarm for 10 seconds and then um whenever this particular logic is not meant that is the a statement this should happen and after which we have the system return back to normal it's a simple line of code which anyone can easily i uh, would i say um replicate provided you just make needed adjustments i've made my calculations you can as well make some adjustments if you want to like retouch or modify this code and i would really appreciate it when you make these changes and also give us um some kind of um, update so that we can learn also from your own point so having done this all i just need to do is to upload this code just as you can see as i have uploaded my code on this particular board i have the system working just fine as i programmed it for the packaging of this project i'm using a 6x6 adaptable board for my packaging and this is the final look after i've completed the whole assembly Now, let's test this project once again while I have it fully packaged.
I have 145 votes as my undervoted preset point and I also have 210 votes as my overvoted preset point. Just as you can see, whenever the voltage goes above the preset point, the system triggers an alarm just to indicate the over voltage and finally the project and everything is working just fine as I programmed it. Feel free to drop your comments about this project as I would love to read them on the comment section. Remember to hit the subscribe button if you are yet to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification button in order to personally get notified when I make upload on related projects just like this.